Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration. Since the last episode, I've built up that uh, massive iridium processing plant that I was talking about on, out on this planet Kothar. As you can see here, we've got the um, iridite coming in by train. It's then being dumped out onto the uh, conveyor belts and then slowly fed into the rest of the system. Now, it unfortunately, the um, the mine I've got down here isn't actually producing it quickly enough for the uh, for the rate the the rest of the system is using it up at. So we've got a li it's a little bit slower than it should be. But it does seem to be basically working. I've had at least one rocket head off to the space station now, so I know it, it is working. And this is working in ex running in exactly the same way as the Holmium processing facility we were looking at um, ooh, ages and ages ago works. So we're feeding in the ore at the bottom here. It's getting crushed, it's getting washed, uh, so water passed up here. And then we've got the, um, the, we've got the cold beads instead of the hot beads this time. Um, processing, 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 yada, yada, yada. And this again is the one that spits out lots and lots of different outputs. We've got the sand coming out that's being spat off down this belt here. Um, we've got the washed and the beads going back around again to be reused. And then the stuff we actually want is being passed up to here where it's cooked into ingots in the system and then passed off to um, off, up, up to the rocket this way. Now, that's, that's all working fine, but that isn't enough. So I've actually built up Oh, blimey, that's a lot of pollution here already. <laughs> Let's turn that off, because it's terrifying. Right, but as you can see, I've built up an array of 4x4 four four of these, so that's take, pulling it in at a much higher rate, and then and, 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 and working it all through, and get, producing all the stuff I'm actually trying to make here. There are a few extra things we need, this, so this is exactly the same as before, well, most, mostly the same as before, but we're bringing in coal and iron ore down here, so we're making the iron and using the coal to make oils, to make plastic and sulphur, to make sulfuric acid, and those are all being fed up in, this, in the same way. And we're also making steam down here, I've got the rack of boilers that are turning coal into steam, as well, coal and water into steam. So, yep, that's all working nicely. We've got a pipe running off to the side here that takes the uh, light oil off to be turned into rocket fuel. Uh, the heavy oil, I believe, I'm just cracking down to uh, to light oil, and then I've got, also got some um, uh, chemical plants to crack that down to petroleum gas. If we get again, if we get too much, the, you know, the, the standard thing of having these 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 um, pumps in here connected to the uh, connected to the network, so it can tell what's available, what how much of the stuff is available, and whether it needs to be cracked or or just left. So we've got out of this, we've got byproducts. We've got stone. Uh, which comes out here, there we go, stone and sand. Those are both being fed up here. The stone gets crushed and into sand, and then we're turning all of that into glass, which is getting loaded into a rocket once again to be sent off to wherever it's needed. Um, so this is, as I say, this is all very, very similar to the setup I have on um, Henkes S. Weave to, for doing the Holmium. Um, it's, this part is almost exactly the same. The only difference is that you need to feed in cryonite to make the uh, cold beads, but then you also need vulcanite to, uh, to cook the uh, iridium into into iridium ingots. So there's an extra ingredient in there, but that, that's that's all there is. Um, I think I'm also using that for making iron down here, just to limit the amount of ore I get through, because you know it's a little bit more efficient that way. Um, I've, however, because I've had a bit bit of extra, to been able to do a bit of extra planning. I've spaced it all out a bit better, so it's not quite as crammed in as it was on the the other planet. So as you can see, I've got a, a decent amount of space down here for all the uh, oily oil-based stuff. Uh, I've got the stations off to the side, and then up here I've got the, the, uh, the all the rocket rocketry stuff, and it's all just a little bit more spread out, so it fits a bit more neatly. So we've got the three landing pads here, and these are all um, summoning more stuff when they need it. So this one is is actually waiting for some. It looks like Ganymede is struggling again, but Ganymede always seems to be struggling. I need to have a look at that and find out why. Um, then we've got Cryonite coming in here and rocket parts coming in here. And I've more or less got this automated now, so that um, every time they, uh, we run out of well, rocket parts, they should all, another rocket should come in and drop some more off here. But as we can tell by the fact that this landing pad is empty, that's clearly not got quite enough supply available yet so we need we need to um yeah keep, keep working on that and i think what's actually happened with that is if we look over here i've got this rocket here which is supposed to be taking off all of the um all the rocketry parts off the, wherever they're needed but it it seems to want to go to ganymede well it need, needs to go to ganymede at the moment so it's taking a very very long time to fuel up and i might have to have a look into this and try and find a way of speeding it up a bit as it is, it's running off a steady supply of light oil and also any overflow of, um, of petroleum gas. But we don't have any um, we don't have any any excess of that at the moment. Um, so that's 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 the uh, the iridium processing. It's it's all fairly straightforward. I've left the stuff in up here. I haven't just too much. I haven't touched this. I came in and fixed up the power supply here. So this is now running quite happily. 
Um, I put in a couple of extra um, nuclear plants because I know on um, on Henkes S we were getting through the power a lot faster than I was able to generate it. But here that doesn't seem to be quite so much of an issue. So I might have gone a little bit overboard here. Um, that said, the way that um, iridium that came in has just been swallowed up, it appears that well, there's a this this isn't actually running at the moment. So it's, so it's more I suppose it's to be expected that we don't have much uh, much power being used. Oh, here's another train. As I was saying, the yeah, so we've got two blue belts of it being pumped st steadily through here. Down here we've got four yellow belts, and they're only about half full each, so we've got less than one blue belt coming in. So this is why we're um, very, very low on supply. I need to make several more of these mines. We do have enough power down here. Yes, we it's on the same network. I need, so I need to make another mine here, and then probably another one here, and so on, just here. Just, just to spread the spread out, so there's lots and lots of places where it's being dug up, so we can have the trains heading in and out a bit more, a bit more smoothly. But I guess that'll have to uh, that'll have to wait until next time I'm on this planet. As it is, I think I have a good enough supply for what's actually being used because we're hardly using any of it yet. So let's see how see how the power usage is going. It's gone up a bit. Um, yeah, okay. So when everything swings into full full usage, we're using. Uh, 450 megawatts. So I am still only ever using about a third of it. That's a bit. I did brief, yeah, briefly use nearly half. So it's a bit. I, I've overspecced it quite a lot, but never mind. So now we've got the the iridite coming in. That means we've been, I've been able to start doing things like making these mirrors. So as you can see, this is running quite happily. We've got the. Um, although maybe actually I need more. Yeah, I definitely need more of these machines. So I'll, I'll come along and do that at some point. But here we've got the uh, the various ingredients being pumped out along here. And now we've got the iridite, we can actually make the mirrors. And that is also creating enormous quantities of scrap. It's coming around here, being loaded into these chests and then into the train. So the train actually fills up with scrap quite quickly. Um, we've got the two things here it's, it's picking up. It's picking up the uh, the contaminated cosmic water as that gets produced. And also the scrap as that gets produced from, from, bo from both sides. Um, and then it, that can be taken off and, and, and dealt with. I've had to extend... What's that one doing? Oh, it's dropping off glass or something, I think. Okay. I assume that's going to... Yeah, it's presumably going to come in here and empty the glass into, into this chest. Yeah. So, I've extended my um, recycling facility down here. This is now all working, which is rather nice. So, the um, that, em that tank empties really quickly. We can now dump all of the, all the scrap onto this belt where it comes down here. And I've got a lot of... Um, Recycling plants all the way along here that are turning that back into uh, into iron, iron, copper ore, and stone. And those are then once they're processed, are being fed out to these these three stations over here. So that's all all built up and running. And then these are all producing the the, um, the resources as they're required. And at the moment they're just gradually filling up because I'm not using a great deal of those. But the copper is at least being coming up here to be turned into memory cards. And the, um, the other thing, I've, I've put in some extra tanks along here, but I believe we are okay at the moment with the cosmic water. Because in theory, the train should come along here, get the cosmic water, and bring it up here. Dump it into the tanks here, and then it will just loop, and then it will end up back in this contaminated tank. Be taken down here to be cleaned up, and then that same cosmic water should just go round and round. So in theory, we shouldn't be having any coming from these tanks. Uh, no more being put into the system. And again, in theory and hopefully, there's enough space in these tanks and in this uh, up and up here that the, the whole system should just stay stay balanced without anything overflowing. I do intend to keep a close eye on it though because I don't entirely trust it not to um, not to find some way to mess up. Um, material science boxes. I think I've prob I think I might have mentioned these. These are um, just being made up, dumped into a station here, and then carried around by train like everything else. Um, and is that about it? Is that every I think that's most of what I've been up to. I've gone in here and I've sort of tinkered a little bit with things just to make sure everything is working properly. Um, and it does seem to be. I had to do a bit of fiddling with, uh, down here just to make sure, just to keep things in balance and make sure all the stations are prioritising properly. But now I'm, I'm pretty convinced that it's working, working well. So that means um, the next thing to do is to get on with the with the science that I'm doing up here. So I've got, at the moment, I've got the tier one science. I think I mentioned in the last episode, as you can, as you can see on the uh, the diagram here, I'm working gradually towards um, getting getting the level two science up and running as well. Yeah, so there's the four inputs for the 
level ones for the level one catalog here um, and then I can use two of those get also get used for making one of the inputs for the level two catalog along with three additional ones and that all goes into the into the level two catalog we can use either or both of them but that reminds me I was meaning to look into this um, so these ones can be made into insights ah yes there we go so you can either use a level a tier one and a tier two to make you can use a tier one and a tier two to make six insights or you can use a massive pile of oh no that's oh okay yeah um Right, what I actually want to look at is how to make insights. Here we go. So you can either you can either use just the tier one ones to make two energy insights. You can use a tier one and a tier two to make six energy insights. So you get three times as much, but you do have to use the more expensive catalog as well. Um, or again, you can use the tier threes and to make twelve, tier fours to make twenty two. Crikey! So as you get as you get up as you get further deeper and deeper into one of the um, one of the research trees you can produce the insights more and more efficiently um, at least I'm assuming that all of these are relatively similar levels of difficulty to produce although even if then even if they're not we go from two to six so even if this one is if this one's twice as hard then it'd be perfectly balanced if it's only a little bit harder then you're, you're still making a bonus and when when you get right up to here I'm, I don't know how you make an extended well you put in all these things I don't know how difficult these are to make but um, the fact that you get 22 out from putting four in seems like a massive uh, return on investment there. So, so that's definitely going to be worth doing once I get to that stage. Um, and then from there, you can use the um, the in insights to make the significant data. And I think yes, you use the insights. Yes, you use the insights for both tier one and tier, tier two sciences. You just need to also put in the appropriate catalogs as well, um, and the appropriate extra ingredient. So. That shouldn't be too difficult, he says optimistically. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping this is just going to go relatively smoothly, and we'll be able to make the um, make the various different packs without without too much difficulty. But that's something that I I still have still need to build up and um, and get sorted, and that's going to probably going to take a little while to do. I still need to um, build up my improved rail system here, and probably move the chemical gel connect collection from here further up. And, yeah, there's a, there's stuff to do to get to get to get to that stage. But as I said, the main thing I've done recently, apart from getting the recycling up and running at a decent a decent speed, is getting the um, the iridium processing finished and working, and and just bringing stuff up over to the, over to, to here as as intended. So it's now dropping it off into into this this yeah, here we go as a landing pad here, drops it in, and then passed out into the into the trains as normal. So yes. Next thing, as I say, is to carry on with the energy science. Once I've done that, I'll probably start. I'll start in another science, probably ast ast um, ast astronomic science, because that seems like a a logic, a, a, a relatively straightforward one to do, and therefore a good one to do early on, I guess. So I hope you'll uh, join me, come along to see see, see that. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.